hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here today's video is going to be an example of what i eat in a day on ww purple i like doing these videos just to show you guys a little bit of an idea of what a day would normally look like for me and i'm hoping i can keep everything on track you guys know i've been kind of on again off again on again off again with being on track so i've been trying to really rededicate everything to the program stay on track track everything at the gym all of that um, I am gonna be eating Mexican with my friend later tonight for her birthday so hopefully I can manage that and stick to the plan and not have any issues there and still get a blue dot I'm gonna try as best as I can that is all I can do so if you guys want to stick around and see what I'm having today just keep on watching so of course, starting with breakfast, I'm having something that I did meal prep this week. This is a bacon, egg, and cheese melt. I made it on the George Foreman. It is only four points, one point for the cheese, two points for the bread, and one point for two slices of bacon. This was really, really good. I'm very happy with how it turned out. For lunch today, I also had a recipe that I meal prepped. By the way, the link for that will be at the end of the video if you want to check it out. But all I have is corn, brown rice, Tostitos, queso, and some chicken breast. So there's only one point in this whole dish for purple. If you're on blue or green, you would of course want to account for the rice and stuff. But for me, it is only one point. After lunch, when I got home from work, I decided to have a five point fiber one granola bar before going to the gym. I really like these. They're chewy. They are filling much more than a regular granola bar. And you guys have asked before, so I wanted to give you an example of what I wear to the gym. Normally what I wear to the gym is really basic, but I do feel like it's important that you wear something you can feel confident and good in, especially if you're not used to going, because you don't want to feel even more uncomfortable. So I usually just have a t-shirt and some torrid leggings. Those are currently my favorite um, brand of leggings to work out in, and I love my Nike tennis shoes. Also, since it's about 30 degrees in Kentucky, I decided to add this jacket, and I found this at TJ Maxx. If you guys would like to see a full-on video of different outfits I wear to the gym, let me know in the comments below if that's something you're interested in. I would love to do that. So I am back from the gym. Please excuse how I look right now. I had a great workout. I did cardio dance for an hour, which is kind of like Zumba, but we use our own songs. We make our own dances, and it is a lot of fun. It's my favorite thing in the whole entire world. Um, we did not go to the Mexican restaurant. There were some people who couldn't go tonight, so we're going to do that on a different day. So, I have 10 points left. I'm not super hungry after a workout. Usually, I think the brown rice from lunch kind of filled me up, and I had that fiber brownie. But I'm just going to throw a potato in the microwave, have a baked potato with some toppings, and that's what I'm going to have for dinner. So, I'll go ahead and show you guys what that looks like. So for my baked potatoes, whenever I'm making just one or two for me or my husband, the simplest way for me to do it is to wash it, poke a bunch of holes in it, and throw it in the microwave for about five minutes. And then I like to let it sit for about two before I take it out. Then I'm going to top it with some parquet spray butter, which is zero points. I'm also going to add on a slice of Velveeta cheese, which is only one point. And this ranch dressing is the Bolt House Farms Classic Ranch Yogurt Dressing. It is really, really good. Pro tip, go out and buy it. It is awesome. It is two points. And I'm adding one tablespoon of real bacon bits. So there is the tracking for it on my app. And I also have this bottle of Cupcake Rosé wine. Um, this is my first cupcake wine. One of my friends actually gave me this for my birthday. And I decided to try it out. It is only four points for six ounces, which I thought was really good. But if you guys have any suggestions of program friendly, low point wines, I would love for you to leave those in the comments because I would like to try some other ones out. So definitely leave me some suggestions down there. It is really nice to be able to treat yourself to a glass of wine if it's been a long day or a long week, even though it's only Tuesday. I know we all feel that sometimes. Um, so total, this is only eight points. So the potato is zero since I'm on purple. One more reason why I love it. And then all of the toppings you guys saw earlier. So that leaves me with a blue dot and two points left today. 
so there you guys have it that is what i eat in a day kind of just a random day this isn't like an average or anything just wanted to give you an example of what a day looks like and how my meal prep turned out this week so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave and i'll see you next time